Okay, just a warning to everyone, this is probably going to be a short stream today. I am really, really tired. Um, I was in two minds about actually doing this stream, but I did announce it on the Facebook page that we will be streaming today around 5pm um, UK time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep my promise and I'm going to at least go out our all to in, but just a warning to everybody, this could be a short stream, so... And everything on this point on, I have not done at all. This is where I got to the lap when the last time I started playing it. I ain't gonna fight this guru, do I, boy? Thank you. 
Okay, that was smart. Okay. Oh, at least it's actually um
I was not expecting this. Jesus. Damn! How I'll go over that? Sorry, you were hot, but damn, you had a shit personality. So I was for it then. So I was, I was going to say, I watched a YouTube video and said, oh, it, it looks like it. This is what I thought. But it is. Okay, this is uh
on, they think we've got this. Oh, what would good for an auto fire right now? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty fucking badass. <laughs> that was amazing. That was fucking out. I didn't even realise that was a thing in this game. Not like that. Control it, Clive! It's you, isn't it, Clive? Clive doesn't even realise he's the bleeding one he's after. Too nice is your problem. Bloody mess this. <laughs> yeah, we have a 
have a. Yeah, uh, we have caused a few uh, problems here, haven't we? <laughs> Jason, it was inside you all along. <laughs> They'll be damned if I know what that means. So I'm, ass I'm assuming then that isn't the big twist of this game then, if it's this early in. Why? Why did you have to listen to him? Benner! This can't be what you wanted, can it? King is bold and desperate. Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of course. Yeah, Garfield, this isn't going to end well. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he's a bit loud, isn't he? Muhammad versus Odin, Jesus! Form the cohorts. At what? Your Highness. Saboteurs. Very 
attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the holy capital. The capital? What of my father? His is radiance he... is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. It is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. All of them. The plot thickens. Ward that chained him up. It was me. I killed Joshua. Well, I'm not sure you did. Just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster! And I deserve to die! So end it! End it! Now. Please! Please! Ah! I reckon I can take you. If that's what you want. But first. I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. Yeah, come on, dude, lay it on me. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll uh, see you in the hall. As well hear what he has to say. Oh, making me throw you back in there now, eh? Odin and Bahama had at it. Not by villainous tour. Gods, it's a wonder we didn't feel it here. Um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe we should play the blacksmith. Uh, Visit. Eat your food while it's hot and see that none goes to waste. Follow those two simple rules and you will always be welcome at the Fat Chocobo. Oh yeah, there's the arcade mode in there, isn't there? Um, mm. what we can do here. Make it quick. 
So, what would it be? It'd last you a good while. No scratches, all right? Not bad, if I do say so myself. Should do ya. Yeah. My best work, but it'll do. Anything else? Let's have a look. Yes. What? Coin purse weighing you down. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Finished, I'm sure you're right, you? Karen. Oh, uh, let, uh, let's find out what's going on then. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Oh. <laughs> well, still have a bit of fight left in you? Then listen, I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Please, think about it, Clive. The rumours all point to...
was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it. Right, you don't want to finish yourself. Come, come on, mate. Sink of the pooch. Sink of the doggo. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Galv on a wild goose chase. Oh, I haven't seen one of you since Final Fantasy VIII, but... Beast, man.
perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. You're not thinking of doing what I think you're doing. Think at all, boy. You can't leave that dog alone, man. What is it, boy? Up 
after him. Don't let him escape. Gaff. <laughs> Who goes there? This one's a deserter. Take his head. Out of my way. You made your choice. And a wyvern, come off it. Come on.
shit! Life doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's the trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav. I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. to where it all began. He must be stopped. Okay, who must be stopped? Your brother? Because you pissed off at him for beating the crap out of you. 
or is it some other thing? Anyway, what are you more pondering that? If you like me, you've never actually played this. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you to ponder that while I go make a fresh cup of tea. So stay tuned, people. I will be back shortly. Let's carry on. Right, where are we going? Out to fire, you was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Are? Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. Seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. So it would seem. Okay, uh, the wall cute. This is weird. <laughs> that sounds painful. It's its fault. Tied it too tight. Let's get this fixed before someone. <gasps> it's true, then. It really is you. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Paya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. Obviously against the will, dude. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived. About Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It 
all happened so fast. Where did she get the power? We were told that the Ironblood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominant. What? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? He's not sure it love. It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Good man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sources. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Ooh. Uh, Fair enough. Sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We've a long journey ahead of us. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your okay, friend. okay, Jesus. Let's get this fixed before someone doesn't sell We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. Their bunks are made up. I can leave whenever you're ready. We just don't have enough teams to follow every lead. No, not even. Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in? Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Uh, not sure where the... Not sure where the bunks are. Oh, there's marked them anyway. Mm, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth.
my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. Uh, looks like the carpenter's got something for me as well. So soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Kenny sent me. He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. Yeah, that's Keep true. Keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Hey, it wasn't exactly my fault last time, dude. Give for some wild nicky berries. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. I hate <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? I wonder what it's trying to say. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. into again. Oh, maybe not. You! Newcomer! I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to know. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwing. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps. But the soil there is second to none. 
Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. Someone's in trouble. You know what to do, boy. It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, I've, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? So you're used to playing with an Xbox controller. For the PC game I've been doing lately. That should be enough. I better get it back to the hideaway.
I was going to say, uh, they're hoping that the side case has it just going to be limited to in here. That will get boring quick. There you are. And all safe and sound. She's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... But it's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. No. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit, too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. How did they side quests unlock um, other things then? Or now, change the high days? Yeah, not so bad, Kevin. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. It's <laughs> an so, um, mode. Better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Hmm. Off you go then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav too. Not until I've visited the blacksmith. Well, you see, I'm busy here. So, will it be? No scratches, all right? to do that then. Oh, good point. No scratches, all right? Thank me later. And it's 
So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my yeah. job. No need to make such a fuss. Not into you the old varum and care. stuff. All right. Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Bran did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Honestly, I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. Should press on. That inn at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Look at the cues on this. Let's see how you do about Yeah! 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 
over here. Sick of Toggle. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Oi! Stop and give me an hand. Here! You couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. No thrilling late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Fine. That's the spirit. All right, here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. I'll leave the checker bars to it. with um, the divine force a little bit here we are Martha's rest that's one of our branded do we take him in good girl you get some rest now Oh, true. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. We'll have it full of Gizal Greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal Greens? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, <laughs> the smell gets out, and birds come so running the, from miles So the guy's around. a bit of an idiot, then. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard <laughs> way. Still... I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master like this my guy. regards.
You barely have to step out your front door these days before you're set upon by beasts or, or, or bandits. So much for the Holy Empire bringing us a new age of enlightened order. Place has gone to the dogs. as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Very good to East Pool, leave them in the park. work building the aqueduct. <laughs> Typically English. Mucking, stacking, packing, taking, palming, foistering. I don't even want to go into what... Oh, um, Back when we had proper leaders and proper trade. That last one's got a different Some meaning nowadays. <laughs> Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a Stratton lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the malicious way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be. If the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have... happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the fallen gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Goes to East Pool. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. I 
don't care what your orders are, Brandon. You keep that. Anna. Get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Tell me you couldn't jump that jump that gap. Save your sled. Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him, we go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? I hear the levers are due to go up again. Do you like that? Well, there's plenty more where that came from. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They had nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. God, don't tell me to start to drift again. The last thing I want. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? It tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. 
There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well. Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Damn, that's harsh. Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Fuck. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Okay, I'm just gonna stream. It was good, honest work. Hopefully, be able to get one more main story point in at least. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Keep them nice and fresh. Hmm. Huh. Okay, that's weird. Uh, where am I going? Come and have a look. Don't be shy. Fresh cuts. Fresh cuts. Get your fresh cuts here. Okay. I want to have a little bit of a scrap for laughs on the way there. Very good to East Pool, leave him in the park. My stuff was for the Golden Stables again. Hey, I can't even remember how to get there now. Here we go. I'll go down.
think it's definitely drifting again. Oh well. The rug could just come the wrong way there, innit? Yeah. of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. It's all like all the rest. Get him! Sick of Toggle! Get him, boy! Where's the Abbey? What darkness awaits us within, I wonder? Let's go and see. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. I... I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. Thank you. 
the light. It fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. Well, that sucks the big heavy maple, doesn't it? Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Uh, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. Oh, jeez. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Now I leave it, he's just happily sitting there. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. C. 
So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have oh, come that's, back to us. What? That's the one from the Control, one isn't it? Oh. I've been sitting here for hours. Just give me, she reminds me of someone. decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, if 
got a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. <coughs> so now then. Levis and you to go up again. Martha said the blight had spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. It's the same as the one back at the hideaway. Doesn't seem to be working, though. Yet, I'm assuming he's about to switch that on. You there! Over here! Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. Curse my luck. A branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You're one of Marfa's, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you, then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We've made them mean instead. Yeah, it makes no sense. So she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of him, will you? All right. I suppose those walls pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. You want to know if it's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. It's playing nice at the moment, isn't it? Just leaving the quest to be on no, route. Last. You 
price. What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. <laughs> have me believe a single Bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I'd never have thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You! You're Clive Rossfield! It's me! Hannah! Rodney Murdoch's wife! Lady Hannah! Oh, I knew it was you! You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you, too, Lady Hannah. simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? 
Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Remember that night on the balcony, when we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Nelly. Nelly. We should get some rest. Now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. 
These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well. My lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. And I think I'm actually going to end the stream right here. Oh, God, I've got about all the AP stuff. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think that's definitely a sign of sticks drifting. So yeah, I'm going to end the stream there guys, thank you very much for watching, uh, keep an eye out if you have uh, followed my page on um, Facebook, that's uh, me, my metal middle-aged autistic gamer, uh, to keep an eye out for the next time I'm streaming, fingers crossed it'll be tomorrow, um, hopefully it'll be earlier than I did today as well, and um, if you're watching on YouTube, um, it would be great if you could click like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribed. And uh, if you watch it on Twitch and you enjoyed it, then I'd appreciate it if you click follow if you already haven't. And then once you guys have done that, maybe you could like subscribe to the other, <laughs> the other sites and, you know, vice versa. But anyway, uh, that might be asking a lot actually. But anyway, thank you very much guys. I really do appreciate it. I'm Mimi Metal, the middle-aged autistic gamer, and thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you.